page fighting. Are you serious? Yeah. Have you seen what they do? Yeah, I looked it up today on the internet. <laughs> What's he thinking? Well, that's the problem. I don't think he is thinking. I mean, there's got to be better ways to pay you back, surely. Yeah, you know what, Maru? I don't really think it's about the money. You think he's punishing himself? Um, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I don't think he's doing it to hurt anyone else. Well, I don't like it. Be careful. Ruby! Hi! Hey, Leah. Um, <clears throat> Mum put this away for you while we were packing to go to the city and she never got a chance to give it to you. Oh, Hey, Ruby, Ruby. How are you? Are you all right? Mum wanted you to have it. I gave it to you. We have nothing else to talk about. Oh, she's been like that with me too. I've tried calling, I've tried taking food over to the van, she just doesn't want to know me anymore. Well, you know, Brax is a big boy, he can look after himself. That's the one we've got to worry about. No, you're right. The whole thing's a mess. <laughs> ah! Prayers must be answered. How's that? Well, judging by the look of you. It's a miracle you're still walking. Ah, oh, so what are you saying? I should be thankful your boss saved me from the worst hidings, isn't it? Yes, that's what I'm saying. So, had enough? Had some sense knocked into you? Oh, not enough to make me want to quit, no. So I take your retirement's out of the question. Look, I know you don't approve of the sport. Yeah, rugby's a sport. Fair enough, but I'm not going to stop till I get what I want. Good luck, then. How you saying, Reverend? Reverend. I've got a, another big fight coming up. <clears throat> and I don't really want to end up looking worse than this. So, so I think Heath was probably on the right track when he suggested you train me in that Brazilian martial arts stuff. You're kidding, right? I'm not going to train you so you can kill yourself or kill somebody else. Well, I'm not asking you to approve of it. But I am doing it to pay Leah back, and she needs that money. And fighting is one of the only legal ways I have to get it to her. You're asking a lot, you know that. No, no, I'm just asking you to teach me a few moves. Because at this point in my life, I don't care what happens to me, but I don't want to get killed and have Leah think it's her fault. So think of it that way, you'd be doing her a favour as much as you'd be doing one for me. You're drawing a pretty long bow. Well, just think about it. That's all I'm asking. You OK? Um, no, not really. It was Charlie's perfume. She used to wear it all the time. She gave it to me. It's got caught up in a memory. Are you for lunch? Uh, no, actually to see you. Although I'm not sure you're going to like what I have to tell you. Hey. Brax came to see me. He's planning on fighting again. And he wants me to train him. And you said no, right? A long shot. How could you even contemplate doing that? He's going to fight regardless. But I thought if I teach him a few moves, it'll save him from being badly hurt or even killed. This isn't like running a self-defense class. I know that. These people bash each other's senses in these cage matches. Hence my concern for the idiot. So why, why are you here? I don't know, are you here to get my blessing? Because if you are, I'm not going to give it to you. OK. No, Elijah, no, it's not OK. You should be trying to talk him out of it, not encouraging him to do it. What are you thinking? to stop this. Stop? What, what are we talking about this time? This cage fighting business. All right, can we not talk about that here? Please, have you looked in the mirror? I mean, what do I have to say to stop you doing this to yourself? Well, what's the problem? I feel fine. And now, what about the next fight or, or the fight after that? Brax, please, I'm worried about you. This scares me and I don't want to be responsible for you getting hurt. All right, well, stop. You aren't responsible for me. OK, a few more fights, I'll call it quits. It's just, it, it, it looks worse than it feels. Your pass is coming off. What was wrong? Rex? Are you, are you wearing Charlie's perfume? Yeah, yeah, I always loved it. Are you serious? She's been gone for what? How long? You're already into her stuff. No, no, I didn't take anything of hers. It's not like... But you can't... You can't replace her. You understand that. Is that what you can come around here, is no, it? No, of course not, and I'm not trying to do Just that. Just go. Brax, please. Leah, you leave me alone.
I just saw Leah outside and she's crying because of you, isn't she? She has stood by you this entire time, Brax, and that is how you repay her? That's all you've got to say. Look, Ruby, I didn't want to have a go at her. But she's using all, all Charlie's stuff. She's wearing a perfume. She is not wearing her perfume. Charlie bought Leah a new bottle as a present. Now, I know you think that you were the only one that Mum loved, but you are not, and you are not the only one in pain. You're pathetic. Hey, I thought maybe you and I could grab a coffee and talk about never argue. You all right? What happened? So dumb. You were right. So was Rue. About what? Rax. He's way out of my depth. He's hurting. He's hurting so much more than I thought, and I'm not helping, I'm just making things worse. I'm sure that's not true. You in there for instance, Charlie. No, in a way, he wants all needs. And I should have listened to you. Look, you've done everything for him. Now you gotta leave Brax to me. You're right, he's not gonna quit. Help him. Just make sure he doesn't get hurt. I will.